you want to know what my best and worst videos are on this channel with nearly 2200 videos well about 300 of you watched the video and out of those 300 something like 11 of you actually voted and you decided that overall the theme that is is best about my channel is when i am psychologically challenging you that's what you like best about my channel the thing that you like least is when i make those would you rather videos which the whole intent was to psychologically challenge you so that's backfiring so there you go there's the answer based on your views of that video and i intend to take that information and hopefully make this a better channel and, and rebrand and reboot this to a certain degree so thank you for the 11 of you who actually left an answer and at least you know 300 of you actually watched the video uh, so that's good that's helpful uh, for me in this channel yes uh, i did take a break for a half of a week three and a half days which is very unusual for me uh, i felt it was important because i just really wanted to take a break from shooting videos and fate would have it i'm going to be taking another break i'm i'll put it this way already in the reserve i've already filmed them before i took my little half week break i uh now have 26 videos that i've filmed and i haven't published them yet so what I'm going to do is take a break and I'm going to be publishing those videos that you can be watching while I'm taking a break. However long it takes me to publish those 26 videos, uh, I will not be shooting new videos during that time uh, or release or plan to re release any during that time. Um, you're going to hate this, but uh, out of those 26 that I've already shot, eight of those are would you rathers. But I will have to say, despite the public outcry of people who just really don't like these no one has ever said they liked one of those videos i have taken a moment in this half week break to notice people are still watching them and commenting on them so what i can't always do is take it at face value when someone says they don't like something if you take the time to watch it and comment on it that's a way of voting to say that it's relevant in some way uh, so uh, some of the other feedback i've had uh, as, as i asked the question what did you like best and worst People were saying that they like that I'm positive uh, and you know optimistic, and you know that can be challenging for me because part of my role is to psychologically challenge you, and so to be positive at the same time, I can't always do that, right? Uh, so those are things I'm going to be sorting out. But I'll just say this: about 26 more videos need to be released, in which I will not be you know, worrying about making new videos or anything. I'm going to be living my life. You'll be catching up on that last batch there. Uh, and I think it's going to allow me to have some time off to, like I said, try to rebrand this channel a little bit. Uh, something I have noticed too in taking off three and a half days is it seems more people watch the, the videos I last released. And so, and I was always sort of aware that growing the channel meant to do just a lot of videos, to always keep things going. But I think at this point in my channel's growth, uh, it's important that maybe I release less videos so that you're more likely to, to watch and appreciate the ones that I do release. So we've got our last hurrah here where I'll publish those 26 videos if I feel like doing all of them. But here's what, I'm, what my plan is. My plan is to not film and, and, and uh, publish a new video until those have all been done. When you do see me return, I will have gotten a haircut. Because if I, if I were shooting videos this week, it mainly just be complaints. Nick, you need a haircut. Nick, it's time for you to get a haircut. It's looking awful on that. So I will probably be getting a, a headache. A haircut in the next week. So I'll put it this way. How do you know when the 26 videos are, are done? All the old footage, all the old me, um, it'll be the last, the eighth video of the Would You Rather, which is talking about would you rather sell your soul um, for, for a perfect head of hair life. So when you see that, you can think, that's what I talked about because the next one is gonna be about him and the new haircut and trying to move this channel in a new direction in which we're focusing more on exactly what people are saying they wanna see uh, and still challenging, still positive. Um, but less videos so that we can focus more on what's going on there. And uh, that's, that's what I'm planning to do. So 
I'm going to enjoy my little break here. Uh, you will not see me in real time for probably in my real time. It's going to be like at least a week if not two or more for me to just take my time in publishing these 26 videos and hopefully what we can see is sort of rebranding this my energy see that's another thing i don't want to just make the videos if people aren't going to watch them and they're not if it's not efficient i want to be efficient in what i do if i'm going to spend my time making these videos and answering you know people's uh, comments and that sort of thing then i want that time to be well invested uh in my part so there you go. I'm telling you exactly what my plan is. But for the record, and you can check the video where I, uh, you know, had you vote on the best and worst videos. But in review, uh, there were scattered thoughts on there. There were, you know, the theme is that you want me to challenge you. You want me to be positive. What you don't want is me to create these hypothetical impossible scenarios and helping you decide whether hair loss is more important. Which again, I've already filmed the the last eight. Uh, it's very important to me as a passion project that I finish that. So you can just choose not to watch it when it pops up. There's gonna be eight of those that filter through uh, before we can move on. And I try to refocus what I'm wanting uh, to do with this channel. So thank you all for being a part of this. As for now, I'm not going to think about uh, these videos or hair loss for a while. I'm just gonna take some time off. But as far as time passing, it's going to be real time for you. It's going to be as if I just filmed the videos yesterday when really I filmed them a week or so ago, just setting up my reserve so that I could afford to take some time off from filming and take some time to reevaluate what I'm wanting to do with this channel. I'm grateful that all of you are here. I really am. And I want this to be the best version of it, it that it can be. You know, which is why I asked that question to begin with. So, thank you for your uh, answers on that. Thank you for being a part of it. I'm going to disappear now. So, in real time, I'll meet you back in a couple of weeks. But as for now, you watch these old videos that I shot a few weeks ago. And I want to close with this thought. I think this is so funny. When I asked, you know, which is my best and worst video, somebody, Bazinga, I think, was joking around and they said, which one's the worst? All of them. And I'm like, you know, and that's the whole point. I recognize that on this channel, any video I do is likely to be someone's newest video that they don't like. In the same way, each new video is likely to be their favorite video. And that's what I love about the collective experience of making these videos and all the different people and their perceptions of what's good and what's bad and how that's a reflection of themselves. And I can appreciate that. But if there's a theme, you want me to challenge you psychologically, you want me to be positive. That's the things that you want the most. So I'm gonna do those things and I'm still gonna do the things that get the most views because we've all already established new haircuts, rosemary oil, you know, those things are going to bring in and see that's another thing too as i look back on all the footage uh, and all the videos i thought you know what's funny is what people are saying is their most favorite and least favorite isn't showing up in the views when you look at the most viewed and most liked videos they're also the most disliked videos just in the same way that one of the most popular videos i've made this year actually the most popular video i made this year and the accompanying most popular ones are the ones where I shaved off all my hair. I, I made several videos of me showing, but especially the one where I had all my hair and I shaved it off. One of the, it's the most watched this year, the most liked, and the most disliked. Now on the same token, three months later, when I decided and I revealed to you in that video with my wife that I'm gonna be growing my hair back out, guess what happened then? It, it, a lot of people watched it. A lot of people liked it. So many people liked it. A lot of people disliked it. But a lot, so that tells me that a lot of you love it when I shave off my hair. A lot of you love it when I grow my hair back out. So I'm, I'm never going to uh, make a video that's just a perfect video that everyone's gonna love. And even the ones that may seem the worst are still gonna be well liked and, and well received by certain people. And that's what I love. I like producing content that's gonna have a little bit for everybody, but not universally liked. You know, imagine, final closing thought, imagine if your next show on a daily basis with two YouTube channels, on a daily basis, people tell you how bad your videos are, how bad you are, how ignorant you are. 
uh, how dumb your channel is, how dumb your video is, and then they just keep watching more videos and comments and saying how dumb it is. So that's my life. I'm used to getting half the comments are just me telling me how bad I am, and the other half are like basically saying that they like the videos. So I'm polarizing, I get it. Watch these next 26 videos, some of which you definitely will not like, and I will return one day with a new haircut and hopefully a little bit different of a vision for this channel and maybe my attempts to approve this experience for you. As for now, I'm gonna disappear.